In applying to grad school, I wanted to stay in Boston. At Northeastern, there's very much an emphasis on, on, on doing work that's very relevant. So I'm doing research on offshore wind turbines. I liked that the research I was gonna be getting into had clear, you know, it was clear to me how I would have an impact. I realized that Northeastern was a good fit for me when Andy Myers, my advisor, when he invited me to this workshop and there was this like this big group of people who were all there to say like, okay, this is how we want to assemble our, you know, our energies and, you know, to develop this thing that's important, you know, like offshore wind. With Northeastern's emphasis on you know, on relevance and practicality. There's like a pretty close relationship with other research labs and, and, and private companies. Eventually, you become the expert in the topic. Being able to think about the ways, you know, that are maybe not immediately obvious, but the ways in which what you're building is going to affect the lives of people, I think is really important uh, and makes a good engineer. To somebody who's considering whether or not they want to go into civil engineering, you gotta be interested in taking math classes, you got to be interested in, in, in doing, in, in coding, like computer programming. In addition to that, I think it's important that you recognize that as a practicing civil engineer, the idea is that you use all those skills as tools uh, to serve the public good. You know, in a way you are a civil servant. At Northeastern, I feel like there is, the focus is on ensuring that you are actually making a significant contribution to the body of knowledge. It's not about getting a PhD, it's about making a significant contribution. And it's not a, it's not a competition, it's not a, it's not a race, it's not a contest, it's, it's about working together to learn, to do research and, 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 and to contribute in a way that will help people.